Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of uh, mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got, uh, well, a little bit of a mixed bag. The Dow just went slightly positive. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices are trading to the downside. S&P's up nine points, about two-tenths of a percent. Nearly four-tenths for the NASDAQ 100, or 53 points. Nearly a half a percent for the Russell. That's nearly eight points. One and a quarter percent for the semis. They're up 45. Trannies are down 87 as well. You've got gold up five bucks. Silver's down 11 cents. Lights recruit trade up 60 pennies. Natural gas up 11 cents. 30 year treasury printed out of 112.26. We can figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin in the upper left hand corner, the ES mini. What do we know? It's dead smacked into resistance. That is trend line resistance. Each of you can do this on your system at home. You can put that trend line in there. If price is able to close above that level, now price did close on Friday above the top of its daily profile. So far, that's acted as support this morning at 44.13 level. There's swing point resistance at 44.30.50, but it's just trend line. That's really the issue for the S&P 500 or the ES Mini. If we take a look at spot volatility, it is still below its 50-day exponential moving average. Uh, the 50 days at 1682, price printed out at 1476. In the case of the NQ, today's going to be the completion of a TD9 count top. Price on Friday closed above the top of its slightly bearish structured daily profile. There's no trend line resistance for it to deal with, but there is a top that's going to complete today. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's struggling to get above the center of that daily profile. That's at the 105.83 level. If it could do that, well, that could tell us about a run up to 106.75. If we take a look at Goldilocks, it's going to complete a TD nine count bottom today. That bottom should take us up to its oscillator and change line. I don't know what that is right now looking at this chart, but we can take a look at that during the Trader's Edge show. Silver, while well, at the same time we've got gold forming a bottom, silver saying, I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Because on Friday, price closed below the bottom of its daily profile. Price is trading below it today, suggesting it wants to move back to where price broke out from. That's at $20.94. Lights be crude. It's got a road uh, CD9 count bottom. But price remains below its descending trend line and the, the, uh, the, the uh, bottom of its daily profile that formed a couple of days ago. Nonetheless, there's resistance at about 79 and a quarter. In the case of natural gas, if it generates a bullish reversal candle today, and right now you've got a three river evening or morning star pattern, well, that would generate a buy the D point pattern. But that would then just say price might only get up to resistance. That's at three dollars and twenty-eight cents. And the thirty-year Treasury just consolidating with inside his profile support between one eleven uh, thirty-one and one twelve twenty. Resistance up at one fourteen twenty-two. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Everything.